Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to DJ World 2019. Thank you so much for being here guys, I really appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel and if you're live with me on Twitch, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. So, we have a um, bus truck deck which we just lost to coincidentally. Um, and we've lost to it twice I believe so far. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be able to use this deck effectively. The list for the most part, for the most part, is actually like standard. Um, the non-standard cards are the Ace Pack, the Scramble Switch, the Colrus, the Karinas, and the Muzzle Bands, and I think that's it. Well, and the Strong Energies. But other than that, the deck is um, mostly standard, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and the Artillery Line. Um, no lander is this list is based on uh, Sanders regional winning list, which was actually the last regional that took place in the expanded format so um, It should be pretty strong still. Um, I don't think any of the new cards actually modify the deck whatsoever um, Peace ring is a pretty strong card and so we have puzzle GX 190 HP and ultra beast and its first attack is Jet Punch, dealing 30 damage and 30 to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Then we have Knuckle Impact, dealing 160 damage. Um, pretty good numbers for both attacks. And then with Diancie, with Strong Energy, with Beast Energy, Choice Bands, and Muscle Bands, you can actually increase those damage outputs to much higher numbers. And then we have Absorption GX, which deals 40 damage for each of your remaining prize cards. Now... The longer the game goes on, the weaker that attack gets, but we also have an, another GX attack with Lycanroc. 200 HP, ability Bloodthirsty Eyes, when you play this Pokemon to evolve a Rockruff, you can switch your opponent's active with one of their benched. And then you have Claw Slash, a solid 110, and then finally Dangerous Rogue GX, which deals 50 damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Um, Realgames.ca, it's 3 Bus GX and 1 Baby Bus so far. Um, so yeah, pretty solid attacker. We have a 2-2 two -two line of it. We have 3 boss GXs, we have 1 baby boss as well. Sledgehammer attack, dealing 30 damage. And if your opponent has exactly first 4 prize cards, um, you do 90 more, so a really ridiculous amount. And then swing around, deals 80 damage, and then you flip 2 coins. For each heads, you deal 20 more damage. Um, 1 Sudowoodo to block Zoark from 1 KOing you every turn. One Diancy to increase your damage output, a 1-1 one, one Octillery for support, and then one Tapu Lele as well. Um, Brito Boy, I haven't been able to see it. I will see it after the stream. Yeah, but thank you so much for making it. Um, Supporters-wise, we have four Sycamore, four Guzma, and then two of each, and Karina and Colres. Um, we have four Ultra Ball to search for the Pokemon that we might need. We have three Brooklet Heal to search for basics. We have triple Max Elixir and triple B-String to accelerate energy. Um, we have Super Rod for recovery, we have Scramble, Scramble Switch as our Ace Pack, which allows you to switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon, and then you may move as many energy attached to the old active Pokemon to a new active Pokemon as you like. So basically a fancy multi-switch or energy switch um, with a switch included, and like multiples of the card as well, which is pretty cool. Um, SCH, thanks so much for the follow. Um, we also have two muscle bands, two flow stones, and one choice band to increase our damage output and two free retreat. And then finally we have nine basic energy, three strong, and one beast. So once again this list is based off of the last deck that won a regional in Expanded. Um, not much has changed in the list since then and I don't think there's too many new tool cards for um, boss rock to include from the latest sets. So that's why the deck might not seem too different. But we'll see. Um, have I tried Lysia? Another rack? I mean, I feel like Lysia is much better in standard if there's merit to it in the deck because Lysia does find you the one of Beast and the one of um, Diancie, right? But Diancie is very easily searchable because there's just so many cards that search out basic Pokemon, right? Nest Balls, Brooklet Hills, Ultra Wolves, Karina. Like, searching for the Pokemon is not an issue. So, playing a supporter to get you a Beast Energy. Maybe it's worth it in standard, uh, but you also run Macargo in boss rock, so you can actually search for the beast energy with Macargo. And playing a Lily and therefore netting you more, way more cards, right? 
and um, in expanded you have strong energies to increase your damage output as well so I feel like there's no reason to play the Lysia whatsoever right no I have not tried it and I definitely don't think it's worth it just based on pure theory yeah it doesn't make sense uh, for it to be good honestly okay so my opponent seems to be playing Trevenant. No, Malamar. Okay, so some sort of Gaskin deck with switches. Wow, he mulliganed so many times. <laughs> More than four. Okay, he mulliganed five and we mulliganed once. And our hand is still really bad. That flows on top deck kind of fixes it. But before that, we were in a lot of trouble. Um, the ace pack is super scoop up cyclone, I believe, or super scoop cyclone, which allows you to like you just everything that the Pokemon has, no matter what it is, you just bring everything back to your hand. Okay, so discarding Kuzma with the Ultra Ball and the other Ultra Ball or a Muscle Band. I feel like a Muscle Band is less useful, and then we know we're up against Malamar, so I feel like leading with. We're attaching turn one energy to Rockruff is always great. And then hitting the elixir plus an energy would just be broken. And no, that is not going to be the case. And then I think I just end. So we did get to see a bunch of extra cards. Um, now this hand is not great. <laughs> we keep getting this like triples and doubles of cards. Um, this will at least let me the, net me the brem rate though, which is nice, and I feel like Sudowood is also going to be pretty impactful against my opponent. So we'll see how this goes. Now there is merit to benching Bustle next turn and attacking with it, because I, it can take down an Inkate um, with a stronger Beast, which is really nice. We do see a Nest Ball, so this is probably based off of um, standard Gaskin. Uh, my opponent does go for the Dawn Wings immediately, probably to protect the Inkei. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see if he chooses not to. Um, oh my gosh, gets rid of my Float Stone. Okay, but I top deck the flow stone, so that's pretty nice. Okay, so I feel like knocking out the NK means Dawnwings can't KO my bus, right? Which should be good. Um, my opponent also chose not to use my Brooklet. Um, so stronger beast energy is what I'm looking for here. Or Muscle Band. I still have a chance to get those cards I still have a chance to get those cards probably should have this for the energy so I can't attach it yet and okay so we do find the strong and the muscle band <laughs> interesting I'll probably just go strong though probably just go strong um, Jet Punch is a knockout on the NK and 30 damage, very valuable 30 damage on the Dunwings, which does open it up for the Baby Buzz. We also find a Guzma, which is nice to pick up another NK next turn, get another 30 on the Dunwings, and then when Dunwings finally KOs my puzzle, we can GX it. Or we can be patient and then go like Lycanroc plus Guzma on the same turn. Okay, so yeah, there's an Inke, there's a Cynthia. Interesting that he has two Nest Balls. So it's two Nest Balls plus four Ultra Balls plus four Mysterious Treasures. Wow, okay, so my opponent simply passes here. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and search for the Pseudo Wudo. And I, because I now have two Guzmas, I think I am going to go for it. If he doesn't bench anything, then so be it, right? It's not that big a deal. Um, let's do the muzzle band here. It's a fizzle for two. Uh, okay, 
So not the best, not the worst. Um, like I'll be, I'll very happily trade um, a Buzzle GX for two Inkes, right? I definitely like. I'm very happy to do that trade. I don't like that at whatsoever. Here's the energy. If he only GXs here, then he cannot lose, right? If he benches something else, then he also can't lose. There's an Necrozma. However, it does open up the Guzma into KO with the Baby Buzz. Um, the, the Muscle Band here doesn't matter because I still need Oh, I guess it does matter. Oh, I don't actually have any damage modifier anymore. Uh, so yeah, actually it does matter quite a bit. So I should have held on to the muscle band or attached it to the baby bug. Um, okay, so... I mean, I'm fine trading another puzzle, I think. Two for two. Seems good. Let's do that. Right. Kuzma. I could have played Sigamore, but I didn't want to risk whiffing the Lycan Rock. And then, as long as I don't bench another boss GX, um, and as long as I don't click Absorption, not going back to the KO with Tansy, right? 180 exactly. We get the KO. So, yeah, not benching was probably the right play for my opponent. Because then I definitely can't take a price, right? At all. No humanly possible way for me to take a prize. And then Lycanroc is dealing 110, 130, 150, 170, minus 20, 150, so more than enough, right? We can still whiff the Lycanroc though, that's for sure. We can actually with the Lycan Rock. So let me Brooklet. There's two Lycan Rocks and two Ultra Wolves still left. In oh, I can just Karina. Never mind. I can just Karina and like here. I was like, my chances of getting Lycan Rock, but no. Karina guarantees, which is really awesome. Yeah, which is really, really awesome. Uh, it doesn't matter what else I get. Even if I didn't have the strong energy, I would still be knocking this guy out here. So yeah, GG to my opponent. Turns out Lycanroc's pretty good. And like, yes, you almost never want to like uh, bench Buzzle and use it um, against Dunwing's Necrozma, but if the one Buzzle um, ends up um, ends up taking two prizes, that's completely fine because then you're trading two for two. And then if you get another KO, then you're in the lead. If my opponent does not bench that Necrozma, I'm pretty sure he has a much better chance to... Like, he would have needed to to get a turn of, like, triple NK, right? But it was a much better chance than benching the Necrozma, I feel. Because you can't get benched if your Dawnwings can't be attacked. Right? Because Dawnwings protects you from every Pokemon, not just GXs. Right? Not just GXs. Thanks so much for the follow, Nico Spot. Very kind of you. Okay. Plopadoodle Do. <laughs> Very interesting name. Is this Vulcanian? It might be. Where is my dog? She's she's sleeping right next to me right here. She keeps me company and she's sleeping right next to me. <laughs> we went out in the morning to to play in the park and stuff so she's pretty tired i think okay so it is volcanian um hello uh with the brooklet my opponent can search for other volcanians which is not great um 
Colrus is pretty bad here, so I'm just gonna end. Colrus will be pretty good towards the end of the game, though. And I definitely feel like I attached to the Rockruff rather than the Buzz. Right? Yeah. And then if my opponent overextends, I can Lele for Karina, and then Karina for Lycanroc plus Flowstone. That would be pretty good. Yeah, if my opponent ends up benching like 3, 4 Pokemon, then I definitely do that and just get a GX KO. If he doesn't though, then we'll just be patient, probably. And maybe just go, like maybe my play will be Karina, but then it'll be Buzz will Floatstone, and then I will, um, oh boy, or my opponent can just KO my puzzle. <laughs> or my opponent can simply KO my puzzle on turn one. That's also another option, for sure. Um, <laughs> oh jeez. That is also another option. Okay, so I'm gonna evolve to protect my Rockruff. And I'm gonna grab a Buzz GX here. And then I will Karina for the Lycanroc and the Floatstone. That way I can punch into the Volk. That was a pretty, a pretty good turn for my opponent for sure. Pretty good turn for my opponent for sure. Didn't over bench. Got a, got a turn one knockout. You really can't complain. And there's the jet punch. Okay, so now my opponent needs Floatstone, Choice Band, another Volk, and two fires to get a knockout on Buzz GX. Hoping that's not gonna be easy. Why isn't Volk good? Because of a Lowland Mock? Maybe, maybe. Um, it used to be bad against Night March, but if Night March is bad now, then that's fine. It also doesn't quite hit the numbers against Zoroark GX, I feel. Like, in order to combat Zoroark GX, you definitely need... Um, you definitely need a... Um, what's the word? You definitely need... Um, Sudowoodo? No, no, he needs two fires, brooklets, and... Um, and a choice band. Oh, blacksmith as well. But he also needs fires in the discard ball. He doesn't have any right now. Okay, so we might just get a KO on this Volk here. If we really wanted to. Oh. Come, Punko. Thanks so much for the follow. Yeah, okay, so I'm not gonna let him bench anything else. And then I'm gonna go ahead and call res myself. Remorate here would be awesome. Uh, okay, so how much damage? 30, 50, 70. And then I can get Diancy and set up the two hit KO, right? That's the dream. So I'm gonna soften up the Turtinator, which could be the one Pokemon that could be out of range of Danger Stroke later on. Bad Archie's matchup as well, indeed. That is correct. That is very true. Okay. Okay, so field blowers, oof. My stadium and my muscle band. So now I'm definitely not clearing this Volk with Jet Punch. Unless I get a really great top deck. He's not threatening my puzzle though, right? He is in fact not threatening my puzzle. So I can, or is it worth it to Guzman? Nah. Like, I would Guzman next turn, maybe, to trap this guy. Okay, this is pretty nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and Brooklet. For another Rockruff. Yeah, so I have access to Lycanroc. I don't need Diancy. Like, if I'm not gonna get the KO, then I don't need Diancy at all. Um, 
you're married to attacking the Volk. Oh, maybe, yeah, with Diancy, I would be able to set up the Kuzma play to get both. So, let's do this, Volk. Yeah, the Kuzma play is right here. If I could have KO'd Baby Volk and Post GX, that would have been insane. Why is Night March bad? It, like, three of the four cards that were banned and expanded were um, included in Night March. So it's not bad, it's just a lot weaker when compared to um, its previous version. Yeah. So it's not necessarily bad, it's just not as strong. Yeah, it's not as powerful as it used to be. Okay, so computer search. For a Guzma or a Floatstone. And then he can't KO me now. My boss GX is 100% gonna survive this turn. Um, yeah, that's true, MP. That is very true. Okay, so what does he even go for here? What do you go for if you're my opponent? Computer search. I mean, it has to be their Goose Mart float, right? But thanks to thanks to Sudowoodo, he can't bench an extra Volcanian and therefore he can't triple steam up to get away. If he double steam ups plus the choice band, I mean the muscle band, then that's 180. Right, so maybe he does that against Lele? No, he's just gonna call Riz, interesting. So did he actually, yeah, he computer searched for the Versus Seeker, okay. Okay. And just attaches and passes. Okay, so. And would be pretty awesome here, however. Okay, so I think I'm gonna discard both Sigurds, which might not be the best idea I've had. <sighs> if I had gotten Diancy right there. If this was Diancy, this would be a beautiful hand. Because then I could just KO this and well I would have placed a 30 there, right? So I could have KO'd. I could have gotten a three price turn. Which maybe the third prize is not that impactful. Um, I'll keep the float stone. I'm just gonna go ahead and jet punch again. And now I eliminate the bulk. And maybe strand this active. Like if I can knock out a GX next turn, I'm pretty sure I win. Pretty sure I win. And I have the Guzman, I have the Ultra for Lycan Rock, so I have the tool cards. And I have B String. Right, so even if something happens to my Godzilla, I am fine. He could go um, attach blacksmith. Yeah, that's gonna, what's gonna happen. Attach blacksmith, um, steam up KO. Right, that's what's gonna happen here. And that's fine by me. Right, that is fine by me. He chooses to Brooklet, which makes my win guaranteed at this point almost. Um, yes, Hermano, I'm probably gonna be playing Night March eventually um, at some point throughout the week. I do need to build a lot of decks. Um, like, I wanna build. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's even better for us. That is even better for us. I'm just gonna go ahead and Guzma this guy. And then I knock all impact, and then I win. Right? Okay, so I should thin stuff. Um, I'll grab the Lycan Rock, I'll have it in my hand, and then I'll draw two more. So basically, like, next turn I can just Guzma or GX KO the Shaman by using knock all impact this turn. And that should be game. By saving the GX move, I am guaranteed to win this game. And then his like my opponent's only play is to knock out the Buzzwell and yeah with the non GX and end me. 
Yeah. Enemy down to two, but I have artillery, so. It's an N to six, and out of N to six, um, I have Ultra Balls, I have Karina, I have three good, two Guzmas, and one Light and Rock. So it's one Ultra Ball, two Guzmas, one Karina, one Light and Rock. Five cards that uh, give me the win. The win? <laughs> the immediate win. Um, and I also have Sycamores, I think. One. No, I have two Sycamores as well, which can lead to Lycan Rock or the Ultra Ball. So, yeah. Goes for a Kuzma, that's fine. That's the wrong move. That is 100% the wrong move. Because then I just knock all impact, right? It's the. the 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 situation of I have two threats, there's nothing you can do about that. And I could even be string on to a, a brand new bus. Um, hello Riahi Sama, thanks so much for being here. So knuckle impact. Like it gets reset, so there was no way for me to lose that match at that point. So yeah, GG to my opponent. And let's search for another deck here. I mean another opponent. Could he Nitro? I mean, he could have Nitro attacked, but then I had the Kuzma as well, so it didn't matter. We were in a really good spot. Our setup was just too strong at that point. Despite him getting a turn one knockout, the Guzma was just disastrous for him. The Guzma on the Volk was disastrous for him. And it felt like he maybe didn't have Floatstones? I'm not sure, right? But maybe he didn't have Floatstones. Okay. So I took it to go first, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, not the best hand, but workable. I am going to lose the artillery though. Club a doodle, GG. That's a pretty gold deck. You have, um, are you not running floatstone? Like you left the, the Volk there um, stranded for too long, I feel. Okay, so goodbye artillery. We are up against um, against Trevenant. So I should have discarded the special energy, not the basic. Oh no. <laughs> and I whiff the Elixir. Okay, so that was worst case scenario for sure. That was absolutely worst case scenario. Oh my gosh. This is actually really bad. Um, definitely retreating, but <sighs> hmm. Oh, they were prized. Okay. Uh, what do I even do here? What do I even do? I mean, if it takes me two turns to power this guy up, that's fine. I'll just pass. I'll probably just end up sick of wearing all of this away. They were prized. Okay. Wow, so just Stadium and Ascension. Okay. So I really would like... Like, I don't need a Lycan Rock. I just... I would really like an Energy. Like, maybe not even... May, I might even try to Surprise Attack. <laughs> that generally might be my play. To just Surprise Attack here. Oh, come on. Why don't I get an Energy? I play 14 cards. I'm halfway through my deck and I've seen two energy total. Jeez. It's ridiculous. I'm just gonna have to stick over again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well. What can you do, right guys? What can you do? <laughs> and then my misplay on turn one. I'm not gonna win this one. Let's just move on. No reason to to do this. There's I'm not going to win that game. Not when I wave energy. Not when I wave an elixir and energy on turn two. And I make the misplay of attack of keeping the strong and discarding the basic. I didn't even turn to look at what I was playing against. <laughs> that was very automatic pilot. Okay. So just moving on to the next game. Moving on to the next game. Looking for an opponent, probably the last or 
second to last game um, of today. Um, yeah, of today. second multiple mulligans for both of us I might continue expanded Amphi yeah all of this week will probably be expanded and wow we're up against another item locking deck we are up against another item locking deck You'd love to see Bronson or Malamar. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do. Um, I'm definitely gonna do one day where I feature um, where I feature the energy decks, which are Electric, Bronson, and Malamar. Yeah, I'll probably do a day dedicated to those three decks in particular. Okay. might be Raichu G I mean the paralysis Raichu plus item locking Luxray could be just paralyzing case could be shining Celebi into paralyzing case Voltorb as well what would I play with eels probably Raikou's Raikou's um, Tapu Koko GX perhaps from a really good hand to a dead hand as quickly as that um like probably try to make a non-gx deck with shrine perhaps um but yeah like being weak to puzzle probably not the best thing in the world okay so my opponent will probably play energy removal i don't think i'm gonna play the sycamore yet i gotta knock on the pikachu and then i'm gonna pressure the bolt orb Pressure the Vault Orb. Okay. Um, oh, he's playing an evolution challenge. Are you serious? Yeah, that makes sense. He is playing an evolution challenge deck. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, he's probably doing that. Jeez, oh, these decks. He might be a deck out strategy. <laughs> like Eerie Impulse with Victini. No, obviously not. Rayquaza GX is pretty good with eels. Yeah, Rayquaza GX with eels could also be an option. Definitely could be an option. Come on. Oh, jeez, I hate these people. I'm sorry. I should not say that, but it's just so annoying to face against those decks. Like, how is my elo so low that I face against those decks? Oh, well. Let's just find someone else. Why did I concede? Because it's a waste of time, Dylan. It's literally a waste of time. The guy was not doing anything. He was just 
like you know there's these challenges on PTCGO where um, where you have to evolve X amount of um, Pokemon of X type well that's exactly what my opponent was doing and I really didn't want to sit there for six turns waiting for him to evolve all his Pokemon whilst I attacked yeah. so I'd rather just use the time better and find a better matchup okay so starting Lele is not ideal but the Karina plus the Brooklet Hill is not terrible. Um, that also, Lampy, that is also very true. Okay, I have knockout. Oh my gosh, we win on turn one. Unless both Flowstones are prized, we actually win on turn one. Or the Diancie's prize is not prized, so GG. <laughs> oh no, we don't even need Diancie. And I'm not even gonna reveal that I have the beast energy. Sorry, friend. <laughs> so sorry, friend. Yeah, I was literally gonna, like the previous game was gonna be like 10 minutes of nothing relevant whatsoever to the meta game, to the expanded meta. You know, like if it was a genuine Luxray item lock deck with Raichu, then sure. I'll play that, but that was not the case. <laughs> okay, so next one. Turn one win. Turn one win. Aerodactyl wins. <laughs> it's my opponent's nickname. That's interesting. Taking a while. <laughs> My opponent taking his time. He might be AFK. He might be AFK. Which means away from keyboard. Um, okay, so we start Diancy with not a pretty great setup. And we're up against Turtonator. We are up against Turtonator. Turn one Kiawe. That works. <laughs> That's a solid strategy. That is a solid, solid strategy. Okay, so I'm not in any hurry to let my opponent knock me out. Do I do need to power up something? Okay. Will he have Kuzma Choice Band to give my Lele? Just sick of more here. I've lost a lot of energy. Um, the max elixir is nice. Yeah, let's load up the baby buzz. We'll pass. Um, cookie, cookie. 
you just started today with this game and you were wondering how you could get the basic trainer cards like Karen and Verseeger. Um, okay, no, the, the question is fine. Wow, he has the Lysander in hand. Um, okay, so usually what you will want to do is... Um, oh, jeez, that was atrocious. Um... Usually, like, if you put up one pack for um, for those cards, I'm pretty sure you'll usually get them, yeah? I'm pretty sure you'll, like, people will trade them. Like, trade one pack of the, whatever the newest set is, for, um, for four of those, yeah? But, what you can also do is, um, geez, I need a float stone. Or, yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna risk it, I guess. I would have the B string. Um, or, um, he's green peeking, I doubt it. Um, or, I'm pretty sure that if you input the name, does he have Wonder Tag, Kuzma, Choice Band, Volt Fire, Lysander? That works. Um, DCE, Lysander, oh, okay, Lysander is the rock drop, that's fine, that's fine, um, yeah, like, that should be more than enough, if you put up one Guardians Rising, like, do this, go to the public offers and put up one Guardians Rising pack in exchange for, um, four Ents and four Sycamores, and I assure you someone will, will do that trade. Yeah, I assure you someone will definitely do that trade. Um, okay, so knuckle impact <clears throat> is enough. But do I want to do that? No, I want to go... Um, I want to go absorption. Yeah. I want to go absorption here. Everyone is not bad. I mean, we don't know what he's playing, right? Like what's in his hand and whatnot. Any tips on a deck you should gather? Well, um, for standard. For standard, I think Rayquaza Vigold could be a good deck, um, or Malamar, or Buzzle Lycanroc. Any of those could be a good, a good starting point, I guess. Um, Silent Lab, that's fine. I still get a knockout here. He deals 100 damage. Big deal. <sighs> Getting my last price is gonna be difficult though. My last two prizes, I mean. Rook and Malware is a lot cheaper than Raid. It's also more complicated, Dalton. Right? It's also more complicated. Okay, so let's attach. Let's evolve to protect the Rock Rock. No. You know what? Let's Karina. No, I don't have. I do have elixir, but I don't have any more energies. <laughs> uh, geez. Yeah, there's no difference here. Um, yeah, so I could get elixir, but I have no energy left, so it literally doesn't matter. Um, let's close on this friend and then let's go knuckle him back for the KO. Thanks to the strong, the anti wasn't working, but the strong is enough. I might have to stall for a turn if he gets this knockout. Um, yeah, Tabulele is one of the most valuable cards. Okay, 
My opponent simply passes, so I can't attack this turn, but that's fine. Like, this is exactly the turn I needed to make sure I'm fully set up. And then the Silent Lab is actually hurting him more than me because he can't steam up. So I'm not even gonna bother replacing the stadium. I'll burn this and then I'll attach the muscle. And then I'm gonna say pass because I can't attack. You could have just one with Scramble. Oh, right, <laughs> right. I could have just grabbed Scramble Energy and one. I mean, Scramble Switch and one. Yeah, completely missed it, guys. Completely, completely missed it. That's my bad. Completely, completely missed it. <laughs> Scramble Switch was indeed the play. Scramble Switch was indeed the play. Now let's watch me lose this game because I didn't Scramble Switch. Jeez. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie daisies. Everyone needs a fire energy though. Yeah, apparently my opponent doesn't run Volcanion, right? Still tilted from the evolution challenge. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So now we win. Right? And we're gonna do maximum damage. And can we KO before my opponent concedes? Yes, we can. For a bunch of damage. There we go. Expanded Volcanion deck looked awesome. Worth gathering? That's a cheap deck as well, probably. That should be a cheap deck as well. You know? There we're gonna Nitro Tank. That's fine. Nitro Tank loses him the turn, so... Means you're safe. Um, so yeah, guys. Buzz Rock and Expanded. Decent choice, for sure. Um, decent choice. Um, we've covered a good range of decks so far, I feel. Um, tomorrow I might do the the energy decks. Um, I might try some Night March. I might try some Volcanion, some Blastoise. There's still a bunch of options to explore. Yeah, for Expanded. Um, there's also the Carburetor Spread deck with Dimension Valley. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll get more into Expanded tomorrow. Um, I'll be making a post on Facebook if you guys have suggestions. Um, I can definitely uh, take those into account. I have not covered turn and break, so I can probably uh, do that as well. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it that you guys hang out with me today. And so let's pass the love over to someone else. Really appreciate it, guys. Appreciate the support. I will see you guys tomorrow for sure. Yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for sure. I can cover the new Soul Gaio GX promo. I don't know why that would be good and expanded, but I can try that um, as well eventually. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, thank you so much, Cookie Cookie, for the follow. I will see you guys tomorrow for more live stream action. I might do a live stream in the evening, in, in the afternoon, rather than um, rather than in the morning, um, because I might meet up with some friends in the morning. So I'll let you guys know, but I will see you guys tomorrow for sure. Okay. Thank you so much and bye bye.